Dixis DBI's brother Panther. I've got a database here I've been monitoring. I'm going to do a response time analysis for this database. And what I see here is for the last eight hours, not much going on. I actually want to look uh, at the entire week. So I'm going to look at the performance of this database for the week. And I've got a quarter second response time. 85% of that time is inside the database. And the database uh, is a little bit more I.O. bound than CPU bound. I'm going to click on that I.O. pie slice. And Brother Panther just did the analysis to find the statements that are causing that database to be I.O. bound. So right there, I've got about two-thirds of all the I.O. in the database tied up in these four statements. I can pass those as a workload to the design advisor and apply DBI's advanced index benefit analysis methodology. So here's an I.O. bound database, two-thirds of all the I.O. in four statements. We're waiting for the answer here. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Oh, outstanding. And we can see we're going to get from 374,000 time runs down 116 for a 99% improvement. Here's the indexes that we have the opportunity to create. And we can see the benefit of each of these indexes. If we add this first index, we'll get 49% of that savings. If we add this second index, we get 46% of that savings. And if we add this third index, well, that's not a very big contributor to all that savings. So I take these uh, first two, that's the bulk of my savings, click on Create. There they are in my editor. I'm ready to go. And just like that, in, in about a minute, I just took two-thirds of the I.O. out of an I.O. bound database. Isn't that easy? Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, Scott. On your mark, get set, go. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, a performance uh, tuning on uh, DB2 for COS. Uh, this is uh, on request from a lot of my friends and colleagues who are new to performance tuning, who are new DBAs um, in the DB2 family. So I've named this topic as Performance 3, uh, just to look, uh, uh, give a look, a uh, feeling of uh, that we are running through a movie here. So uh, the agenda is uh, the new to database administration, what's the first steps of being a DB2 DBA on uh, ZOS. Uh, the first mail on uh, LRAP, uh, then a couple of DB2 administration tools. Uh, the R3 mantra, uh, that's what uh, I usually call it, and then uh, a couple of utilities. We'll also look at some of the test cases, um, uh, which I have posted on my blog, and uh, some references. A quick disclaimer, uh, what you're going to see next is purely based on uh, test performance scenarios faced by me in the real world. It might not be exactly a replica of what you'd face. Uh, while attempting to try anything, uh, make sure that you have an admin star for an expert DBA, um, and the tools here shown are for educational purposes only. And uh, the vendor uh, tools and presentation and all the tools references are for um, education purposes, and the content derived is from my own personal experiences. So I'll just quickly move to the next slide. Okay, so new to database administration. So it's the uh, best feeling in the world. Uh, you feel like you're on top of the rock, and uh, of course you need more coffee. Um, talking about your previous background, uh, there has been a lot of questions. Uh, people come in from application development, and they move to DBA. And they directly join into DBA. So um, it's uh, pretty much um, uh, an easy going uh, if in case you are an application developer then coming to DBA, you'd know um, application development um, well before time. And it's always learning in the making. A um, couple of concepts that you will learn when you are new to database is uh, the database is logical, table space is physical, table is logical, and index is physical. You probably would have thought it the other way around, and uh, that's not what it, it actually feels like. Pay close attention on storage specs. Uh, there's a hidden answer as to why it's logical and physical. Um, so I would like you guys to try it and let me know. Or you can email me. I can give you the answer later on. The first email on LRAP, uh, it's long-running application program. That's what I would like to call it. So you'll probably get an email saying that one of your DB2 programs is running longer than usual. All you have to do is just turn off that panic mode, turn on some good music, turn on the fun mode. 
and go ahead and ask a ask couple of questions to the development team as to how are you doing today, what was the last time the program ran fine, what was the last time the program was changed. Everything is well can be fixed, so you don't have to really worry. Get to know your database administration tools. There are a couple of great tools out there. One is uh, from IBM, it's Typing DB2 Administration Toolset, Database Management from CA and from BMC. Um, all of these are extremely helpful um, and uh, you, know, you need to start exploring the tools. I'll just run through a couple of uh, features that uh, a new DBA would like to know. Um, for example, uh, if you're using CA, you'd have the RC Query Migrator, and from there you can move on to CA Insight, uh, which is actually a handy tool for performance tuning. IBM Admin also gives you Query Monitor um, Enhanced, and which you can figure out uh, in a better way when the a program is running. You can also look at the stats after the program has run. Uh, it's all about exploring, so I would rather suggest all the new DBAs out there to explore the administration tools. Just don't stick to um, the regular uh, viewing the table space, viewing the table, and uh, creating a table, start exploring. So like I said, the examples of CA Insight and uh, the item query monitor, uh, it will give you um, a better enhanced view of what is going on in the system. Uh, you can view the program runtime live. And um, end of the day, it's just a SQL statement, which probably would have gone haywire uh, when it comes to accessing the table or index, which needs a collaborative fix. Some of the key features that you would like to look into when analyzing a long-running SQL statement is the CPU time. This is uh, the DB2 CPU time taken by a program, and this number should always be low. Try to keep it low. The get page count, based on the, high, based on the size of the table, um, judge the pages, so you would know. Higher number indicates a lot of scans, and possibly that index is not being picked. Elapsed time is the total application CPU time. SQL text and the statement number to find out what exactly is the SQL statement that is taking longer time. And if you want to know more about I.O., you can always do so. Um, the the I.O. counter would give you better information, or you can get in touch with your story staff. The R3 mantra is the key here. Um, end of the day, it's run stats, reals, and rebind, which would fix 70 to 90 percent of uh, the LRAP, LRAP problems, um, but you need to know your utilities better. So talking about run stats, it's like reading a book without an index. You would know how many pages the book contains. So a better stats will always help understand um, the, the need of the day, and DB2 will be more optimized if you have great stats. And there are some maybe syntaxes if you would like to test. Then comes the reorg. It's nothing but fragmentation. So you perform a reorg on a table space and the DB2 optimizer will know how optimal your table space is. And um, uh, this actually can be clubbed with uh, run stats as well. And eventually is the rebind. Rebinding the program um, would always help you um, gain the best access path if in case you have performed the run stats in the real earlier. Um, slightly advanced and interesting notes is a plan table. I would rather tell you whether your program is taken of the index, how many match calls, and try to give a manual explain uh, on the SQL statement as well. So let me quickly go to some of the test cases that I have here. Um, this is a granular transaction um, where um, you know it had a high elapsed time and a high get page value. And you know when you when you tune it by uh, performing the run sets and a reorg, by analyzing it, you you eventually reduce it to a, a very low number. Uh, this was an OLTP, so it's a um, online transaction processing, so it should be granular, and uh, anything on the higher node can consume a lot of CPU, as shown here. Um, the percentage free and free space is another key thing to note, um, and I have a slide here, which I have a, a link here, which can explain it better in terms of the get page value. And uh, the opt-in, this is slightly advanced for the new DBAs, but yeah, it's worth a try. So let me quickly go back to the references. So these are some of the references, some of the inspirations that I have got into, and uh, thank you so much. <laughs> and there's that <laughs> in the dock. Boy, was that pretty much perfect timing. I guess you practiced that. Seven minutes, spot on. Yeah. Very nice. And look at all your contact information there with Twitter handles and LinkedIn and uh, got a blog that's all very nice 